So welcome to my review of Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition. And yes, it's not a dream. Chrono Cross has been re-released as a remaster, an upgrade to the original game. And the original game came out in Japan in 1999, came out over here in North America in the year 2000. And I ran up and I bought my copy immediately. And I played a game that would be a cult classic game and a lot of people would argue was not as good as the original. I beg to differ on that one. And so today I'm going to talk about all the changes and all the brand new things in this new edition of the game. Now I remember at the Nintendo Direct when they first showed this game I thought, no, this can't be Chrono Cross. They're not bringing this back. That's impossible because it's a game that I thought was lost in time. No pun intended. And I was so happy to see that they were bringing it out but what were the changes going to be? I'm like, okay, are they changing the combat? Are they changing the graphics? What's going to happen here? They've changed a bunch of things and some things have not been changed that you thought were going to get changed. Yeah, we'll get into it. So let's start off with the graphics here. What happened when I first turned this game on? Because I remember the original very, very well. We were presented with the opening cinematic of the original. But I noticed, I'm like, oh wait, you know, there's a filter on it. It's been upgraded a little bit. Uh, but the text is all brand new, and that looks really, really nice. Not the pixelation of the original, but quite literally, the original cinematic is still the same. They've just used a filter to upscale it a bit, because I'm, I'm sure they were not going to go and redo the entire opening uh, movie, which I, I've loved so much. I've watched a thousand times. So we get past that, and then the game began, and I'm like, here we go. And the title sequence comes up, and I'm like, whoa. This really looks enhanced. You know, they got the brand new Chrono Cross on there. They've upgraded the text there. And then the background, which was just under the ocean, something I always enjoyed with the sea turtles going underneath and all that. And the underwater life showing there. I've always loved that with the bubbles of the water going up. That took me back. I was like, okay, I, I'm, I'm in good hands here, I think. And so I went into it. And then I would say this much. I would say that this reminds me of the Final Fantasy VIII upconversion, right? So taking the original characters of the original game in Chrono Cross and upgrading them to brand new 3D models. And I'm gonna show some examples of this. I was blown away by this. This is a really brand new feature of this game and they did a really good job. It fits in with the world perfectly and fits in with the backgrounds perfectly. And we'll get into the backgrounds in a little bit as well. I will say this, they've also, with the character portraits, they've redone them. They've upgraded those as well. I'll show an example of that right here. And I think they did a really, really good job of maintaining the look and originality of the original designs but upgrading it for this brand new remaster. So there's also some graphic modes in here as well that you can change so you can play with the original pixelated backgrounds and that's the classic mode. So that's all pixelated and it's, it's really pixelated on a 4K TV. You're like, whoa, you know, but you still have that option and I still really appreciate the original art or you can switch it to new. And that is upscaling those backgrounds and they've used some filters on it. I'm sure I do not know all the right terminologies they used on this, but it's taking the original backgrounds and upscaling them a little bit and brightening them, adding a little bit more saturation in there. And this has a few unusual effects. Sometimes it looks stunning. Some of the backgrounds look stunning and sometimes taking the original SD artwork and blowing it up, it comes off as very, very, blah at times, uh, at certain times, but mostly, I say mostly, the upscaling they've done works incredibly well. I'm, I'm glad that we're taking such an old game from 22 years ago and upscaling it in any capacity. And realistically for me, the characters, and especially in combat and things like that, and running around the world, look incredible in their brand new 3D conversions. You can also change the screen type, and this is very, very important. So you can have the original 4x3 that the game originally came out on in and was presented in, or you can have 
full. So you can just blow it up to be fully on the screen there. And you can have the zoom in there as well. So you can change it. I played by the four by three for most of the game. I like it that way. That's the way I've always liked it. And it's nice because you can change the screen size and also change it from the pixelated artwork to the newly enhanced artwork in there as well. The one thing I did notice, and there may be another option that I missed and I'm sure I didn't miss it, you can't change the border of that when you change it. So if you change it to four by three, you have this kind of bluish uh, border. It doesn't affect anything too much, but it would be nice to also switch it to black. Another interesting brand new feature was a fast forward button you can do with the triggers. So you can fast forward through the game. So you can make your character run extremely fast from one side of the map to the next, or you can slow it down. I never really needed these things at all, but it was a novelty to have, so they're there as well. So some other things that have been added to the game, you can turn off random battles, and there also is an auto battle mode. So we need to talk about the music here, and the reason why is there's a lot of disinformation traveling around online about what soundtrack is gonna be in this game. There's been reports that it's an arranged soundtrack to replace all the original music and you don't have access to the original music in the game. You can't change it. So people were freaking out about that, including me. I'm like, what, really? I'm happy to report something here. I'm happy to report something here. The music in this game that is set to default, as soon as you start playing it, the music that plays is the original music it is newly remastered music, but it is the original tracks, right? So those WAV files, it's higher bit rates of those. That's what that is, okay? The report of an arranged soundtrack has been circulating and it confused me as well. I know this, if you go into Play Asia, you can buy the vinyl soundtrack of arranged music for this particular game, but I wanna say there is no uh, setting within the game to change it, to change the original music to an arranged soundtrack. It is just the original music. And let me say, that is music to my ears because I love the original music so much, and I know so many of you do. Why change what's not broken? And so your original music is all there, so you can rest assured. Okay, so what is this game about? For any of you out there who've never played it, you're like, what is this about? Should I play it? It is a sequel to Chrono Trigger in the most interesting way. And Chrono Trigger basically dealt with time travel where this deals with parallel worlds, parallel universes. And your main character is a normal guy in his world and then he goes to a parallel universe and I don't even want to get into it. Yeah, uh, you find out some different things happened with you in this parallel universe, and you got to find out why and what happened, and that's where the story begins. And the story has always been fascinating, and I've always really, really enjoyed it. The list of characters is amazing, and I've always enjoyed them. You can collect, get this, you can collect up to 45 additional characters to be in your party. Seriously. Seriously, but it will take you multiple playthroughs to get that. I'm just saying the option is there and you can start brand new game pluses and go through the game again and get all those characters uh, at your leisure. At your leisure, it was a, a big thing to do back in the day. And yeah, there's a lot of different strange characters, that's for sure, but uh, there's a lot of playtime in here if you want it. Another fascinating thing in this game, and it's in the title, Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers, yes, Radical Dreamers is in this game. And what is Radical Dreamers? It was released in 1996 on the Satellaview modem device for the Super Famicom. You could download this game and basically what it is, it's a visual novel. A Chrono Trigger side story, but an interactive text adventure with combat. So it's kind of cool. You can choose your own adventure style way through this game. And is this an incredible thing? I think it's fascinating because it's something that we never got in the Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross series. We never got this over here. So for them to translate it and to bring it over here, I think is a worthy addition and to put it in with this game as one bundle. I think true Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross fans are gonna adore this. So is this game worth getting? Is it worth getting? Put it this way. I ordered my physical copy from PlayAsia I have to have a physical copy. I wanna say, 
I always enjoyed the original. I'm a big RPG fan, and I gotta say, Chrono Cross, when it was first released, was a big deal. It was a huge deal. It really was. I know a lot of fans were like, wait a second, this doesn't look like Chrono Trigger. And that's what made it so cool. It was doing its own thing. Yes, it has to do with Chrono Trigger, but it feels like its own original game. And especially with the character designs, the world setting, all of that. It does have the parallel worlds that do seem like the time travel elements of the original Chrono Trigger. This game works for me. The soundtrack, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, is in my top five video game soundtracks of all time. And that's the original music. I love it to death. I've listened to it for the last 22 years. It's beautiful music. It's relaxing, it's exciting, it's very different. And I really miss soundtracks like this. It's a very original soundtrack. I think that's what I wanna say. But I wanna also say that I love the visual enhancements in this game. Taking that original game and enhancing it the way they've done it with this one, I'm very, very impressed. I don't know what more they could have done with such an old game now, and especially having those old game assets and trying to upscale them and make them look good on modern TVs for now. You know, for a game that's 22 years later, I applaud the effort and I'm happy to see Chrono Cross make a return and I hope an entire brand new generation of RPG fans can experience it because it really is something magical. And it's a game, as soon as I got the copy, I'm like, oh my God, I was just, you know, very, very giddy to play it. I was like so happy to revisit a game that I treasured so much from so long ago and I can treasure again today. So anyways, guys, until next time.